Hey there, this is your host, Selena Robinson. You are listening to Journey to Gentle Podcast. I am a mama sharing my journey in hopes that you will feel less alone, more educated, and more confident in your journey. Thanks for tuning in. And today on our journey, we will definitely be focusing on that less alone part. This pandemic and quarantine has been going on for I don't know how long anymore. But I do know that I am struggling through it, and I honestly can't imagine what this is like for anyone else, especially those that have been more affected by the pandemic. In all honesty, at the beginning of this pandemic, it made me realize how much of a privilege that we have to not be affected by the quarantine in any way. And... And even still, with not being affected much in our daily lives, it has still had a huge effect on our ability to function, even just around the house. And so in this podcast, I kind of wanted to hold space for what others are going through in this very tough and trying times. Like the thought that because of what has happened, this is going to completely change the way things are and the way things are done and the way that people socialize out in public. It's so difficult to wrap my head around all the changes this will bring. So one of the things that has helped me, and this is just me, little old me who hasn't really been affected much by the pandemic, actually I kind of slipped into a a little bit of a depression for a bit and I was struggling so bad like one of the things about me doing this podcast is being realistic and um authentic and talking with you guys about what it is that I'm going through and dealing with life because my life ain't perfect but I am struggling and I know that if I'm struggling, that so many others are going to be struggling also. And I can't just sit around and pretend like everything's okay. And I had like my little list of episodes that I was going to do and the order that I was going to do them in. And I kind of had to pause that to do this. So I missed a week because I was so just down in the dumps. And now I'm doing this. So I've added an episode uh like my stuff's just all out of order but it's like whatever i honestly feel like this is more important to really hold space for whatever it is that everyone out there is going through it's needed for all of us to feel like we are less alone like the isolation is killing me and i don't even like people like that okay <laughs> Um, I think it's harder for me knowing that both of my kiddos are extroverts. Both of my kiddos like to be out and about and they don't have the ability to interact with other kids because of uh, what's going on. And it's the end of July so school is starting soon for many. I think here school doesn't start until September. Either way it goes my oldest has an October birthday and won't be starting school until next year though honestly i'm really thinking of homeschooling which i'm sure i will talk about in another podcast i've really been going into the oppressive nature of public schools but at the same time i also realize that not everybody has that ability either regardless of how oppressive public schools are so privilege there i can't imagine the stress that anyone is going through in having to decide whether they're going to send their kiddos back to school and risk them getting sick or keep them home. And most parents of which don't even know how to help facilitate learning from them. The online learning or the homeschooling can end up being a huge, huge power struggle. And then there's the fact that so many parents don't even have a choice but to send their kids back because they need some kind of child care for their kids. They have to work. Uh, I've recently heard of like the pods, the pandemic pods, which in and of itself is a privilege. Just 
navigating school for children during this time just seems like one big old mess, right? Like everything differs from state to state on what they're in state to state, county to county, district to district on what they're allowing and what they're expecting of the children because that's a whole other thing there, right? Like having them wear masks all day long and they're staying in one classroom all day and they'll probably have little movement and little actual interaction with their classmates. Like a lot of kids probably want to go back to be able to see their classmates, but they're not really going to be able to interact with their classmates like they're used to because they're going to be expected to social distance like just that and then as a parent you can't even be there when this is happening like all of this is being put on one teacher per classroom or maybe more depending depending on the district depending on the budget i don't know but it's all being put on these teachers to meet those or to make sure that the kids are meeting those expectations. Like, that is difficult, okay? And then for like essential workers who have been out there just working it for since the start of this, like my brother was um, a, what is it, a delivery driver for Amazon out there risking his life um, to deliver these packages and at one point he actually got sick and that was scary he ended up with strep though uh not with um covid so he got better i can't imagine how scary it is for people whose families actually 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 get covid okay and for those who have lost loved ones and then I'm sure that there is anger around those who don't want to wear masks and those who refuse to wear masks and are protesting it, especially for those who have lost loved ones to this virus. Um, and then there are this group of people who, for medical reasons, have difficulty wearing masks. And of course, there are other options for them. But to some extent, they're being lumped in with people that just don't want to wear masks because they feel like it's infringing on their rights and that's it. And some of these people may actually want to wear masks, but because of whatever medical condition that they have, they're not able to. Now, I'm not saying whether or not these people should wear a mask. But I do know that there are alternatives in for the sake of keeping everyone, including themselves, safe. What my goal is here right now is to just hold space for whatever it is that they're going through when having to decide what it is that they're going to do and figure out how to navigate exactly their situation. I have also found that the racial climate in this country on top of the pandemic has been hard to process. So I'm holding space for all of those going through or trying to process those same feelings. If you would like to hear a bit about how I've been struggling with the racial climate okay. of, of this country, you can check out episode three on facing the reality of raising black kids in America. I also want to hold space for those that have lost their jobs and their homes due to COVID and the quarantine. I know there are a lot of people who work for companies that have had to shut down or maybe they have a chronic illness and can't risk working. Or they know or someone in their intermediate family has a chronic illness and they can't risk working. And that's got to be hard to make a choice like that. I mean, you know, of course the family comes first, but income is also important, right? To help meet those physical needs. And that's such a hard thing to go through. I know that I already discussed school, but I discussed the parents and the teachers I didn't even touch on not the teachers I touched 
I talked about the parents and the students. I didn't even talk about the teachers. I went to school for early childhood education, so I understand how difficult it was before the pandemic to teach kids and all of the issues with the school systems before. But now, I'm, I'm really like, I'm sorry for those of you that are teachers and are now having to navigate teaching through the pandemic. Um, up here, uh, schools are going to be partially at home and partially online and partially in person. So it's going to be a hybrid class. And I can't imagine how difficult that is. Like I actually teach English online and I have to be like extra excited, like to the point where I, sometimes I feel like a clown. Uh, you have to be like very over the top in order to keep the kids' education uh, attention for just 40 minutes at a time. So to imagine like how much longer you guys are going to be teaching these kids and you're not really trained to teach that way, I feel for you. I also wanted to mention those that aren't in a good situation because of the pandemic more than just losing their house or a job, but that aren't safe, that are experiencing some kind of abuse. My heart goes out to you all and I am going to see if I can find some kind of resources and link them in the show notes below. I want so badly to be able to do something. My heart goes out to you all. I, I, I can't, I can't do much. I don't even really know what to do, but I will link resources down below for those who can help and for those who need help. And hopefully you're able to find help in these tough times. So I actually ended up having to pause earlier and go take care of one of my kiddos. And while I was doing that, I was in my head thinking of all the things I was going to say, which is not smart for me because then I forget literally everything. And so I've probably forgotten so much, so many different things that need to be addressed about what's going on right now and so many different things that people are struggling with. Uh, parents who are home all day with their kids who aren't used to it, like that's a huge adjustment. Kids being stuck in the house all day. Um, yeah, honestly, I can't think of anything else and I know that there's so much more and I completely apologize, but I am here to hold space for you. So if there's something that I missed, feel free to follow me on Facebook or Instagram and find the post for this specific podcast and leave a comment. Leave a comment about your struggle and what you've been going through since the pandemic. I am here to hold space for it, whatever that is. So yeah, this is one of my shorter podcasts. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in on this journey. I hope that I was successful in some way, shape, form, or fashion in helping you to feel less alone during these pretty isolated times. And that is it for our journey today. So until next time, bye.